This video will be about microevolution and macroevolution. Microevolution is evolution on a small scale, and it is the change in allele frequencies of a population over time. These changes occur within species, and microevolution can be observed over short periods of time. The mechanisms of microevolution include mutation, migration, genetic drift, and natural selection. Macroevolution is evolution on a larger scale that occurs above the species level. This happens over much longer periods of time, but the mechanisms of macroevolution are the same as microevolution. This essentially means that macroevolution is prolonged microevolution. Macroevolution can result in new species. For example, the beetle on the left can undergo many microevolutionary changes, including change in color, food preference, mating behavior, or any change that can evolve the species. Our phylogenetic tree on the right starts with a common ancestor, followed by many speciation events to give rise to all of the species at the end of the tree. This shows us macroevolution versus microevolution. I hope you found this video really helpful. The concepts and information presented in these videos will be true no matter what biology class you are taking. However, the concepts presented in this video are referencing material currently covered in Baylor University's coursework. Remember, if you are a currently enrolled Baylor student, we offer free tutoring services. Our tutoring center is located on the first floor of the Sid Richardson Building. You will find all the details you need about these services on our website, www.baylor.edu slash tutoring. You may schedule a free 30-minute one-on-one tutoring session online or just drop in during any of our open business hours. For more information about our current services, please visit our website. Thank you!